morning everyone i just finished making my sourdough toast and then i'm actually trying a different flavor of this chicken sausage i always get the maple syrup ones which are my absolute favorite you all know that um but they also have a sage flavor so i'm eager to try that one and then i made two sourdough toasts because usually i make one if the bread is much larger since these breads are a little smaller i decided to make two i also made some coffee i'm gonna give this chicken sausage a taste Mmm, this actually tastes really good. I'm not surprised because I really do like this brand. But this one tastes a little similar to the chicken maple ones I have, except these aren't sweet. They just have like that sage flavor. Mm. I decided not to put cheese in my sourdough toast just because I'm trying to limit the amount of dairy I have. The other day, I noticed I got a comment on my last What I Eat In A Day video, and they were saying that I ate too much protein in all the meals that I eat. And me personally, I feel like I eat a good amount of protein just because every day I have a goal of the amount of protein I'm supposed to have. So I at least have to have 130 grams of protein a day. And if I have more than that, that that's fine. And that What I Eat In A Day video, I literally had an English muffin sandwich and a yogurt parfait on the side for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had a tuna salad, not tuna pasta that day. And then for dinner, I had a turkey bowl with Mexican rice and veggies. And at the moment, I've been maintaining my weight for the past couple months. So I really enjoy sharing the meals I have, the meals I enjoy eating to maintain my weight. Not everyone is going to like the same meals. Not everyone is going to want to make the meals that I'm having, which is okay. Everyone likes different things, but I just enjoy sharing what I enjoy having on an everyday basis. So yeah. Mm. I already know what I'm making for lunch. And this is another meal that I make often. Today, I'm making chicken fried rice. I'm making it in a healthier version though. There's some ingredients I'm not gonna be adding into the chicken fried rice. So I'll show you the version that I like to make it. I just finished my breakfast. It was so good, but I quickly wanted to show you the set that I recently just got from TikTok shop. And it is so buttery and stretchy very very comfortable i actually want to get a different color but i wanted to show you guys because if you're like me and you love lounge sets i will link it down below for you guys because it is so pretty i got size small and then i'm 5'1 and the length is a good length as you can see like the bottom but this is how it looks in the back this is the color gray up close stretchy soft like buttery soft fabric i'm gonna go downstairs and check them out but since i'm already down there i'm gonna go ahead and head to ulta i went two days ago and i got this nars soft matte concealer that everyone's been raving about it says it's really good to cover blemishes now i love my elf hydrating camo concealer but if you have really dark spots and you need something heavier to cover up your dark spots, then try this. I actually really like it. I tried it the other day, except this one is just way too white for my skin. I got the first shade they have in this, which is Chantilly. And I think I need to get the shade Vanilla. So you can see I've already used it. But if you didn't know, if you try a product and you don't like it, you can return it as long as you have your receipt. Okay, I'm finally back from the store. Tell me why I left my new little concealer, which I got the shade Vanilla because that's the one that matched my skin tone the best, literally spot on. But anyways, I'm finally home. I'm currently snacking on some cotton candy grapes. They're my absolute favorite. I also checked them out because I got a parcel and this brand OQQ I just received their bodysuits so here is a beige one and then they also gave me a brown one a black one adding this to my collection you can never have way too many basics all the links of everything I showed you like this two-piece set that I absolutely love it feels like butter and these tops, I will link them down below for you in case you're interested. It is now time for lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice started. You guys, Alan just got me a rice cooker. I don't know why um, it took me this long to get a rice cooker because I'm, I'm just so used to cooking my rice in a pot. And the other day, Alan's like, why don't we just get you a rice cooker? And I was like, okay. So we went to Target and it's right here. You can see in the box, but I need to wash and rinse it really quick.
moving on to the chicken meanwhile the rice cooks so I have two chicken thighs right here I already cut them in cubes chicken thighs usually have big chunks of fat in it so I do remove the bigger chunks of fat I'm gonna go ahead and season the chicken I don't season it with a lot of ingredients so I'm gonna be using some light soy sauce like a little bit sriracha no other sriracha tastes like this one i've tried other brands whenever this was like out of stock at stores I remember when they stopped selling it for a while this one's the best one out there hands down and then we're gonna put some sriracha garlic powder on the same pan i like to add my peas and then, of course, I'm gonna add an egg into my rice. What's chicken fried rice without an egg? My rice came out perfect. Love that it comes with a spoon. This is a whole cup of rice. I'm not gonna have the whole thing. I'm just gonna have probably about half, maybe a little less. And then I'll save the rest. I knew I was forgetting one more ingredient to season my chicken, and it was ginger. So I'm just gonna add it in once I mix everything together. To the rice, I'm gonna add a little more soy sauce. Of course, some more sriracha. Very little oyster sauce, just for that flavor. Can't forget some green onions. You can even add some white or yellow onion in here if you want to. But now we're just gonna mix everything together. Here we have my chicken and rice. Tops it off with more sriracha because I just love that sauce so much. But look how delicious that looks and it smells amazing. It takes 15 to 20 minutes to cook. It's a meal that Alan and I always eat. And it's like a healthier version because I don't use a whole bunch of ingredients. Now, I absolutely love the original chicken fried rice. It's one of my favorite meals ever. Um, but since I found a way to eat it in a healthier way to have this like during the week, I really, really enjoy it. My least favorite vegetable are peas, but the only way I can eat it is in chicken fried rice. I mean, even when I was little, my grandma, she would always make Mexican rice. And in her Mexican rice, she always adds peas and carrots. And I would always, like most of the time, I scoot the peas to the side. I didn't mind the carrots because I love carrots. I would always pick on my rice and take out the peas. I'm excited for later today because if you're like me and you have been obsessed with this season's Love is Blind, today is the reunion and I have been waiting for this episode for the longest. I feel so bad for AD. Like she is such a beautiful woman inside and out i really wanted her to find the one now sarah ann leaving a message on instagram to a guy that is engaged i could never i could never like no and then i'm probably gonna prep dinner before we go to the gym that way when we get back from the gym i can have most of the stuff ready for dinner it's five o'clock and i'm about to head to the gym once alan gets home so i'm prepping the chicken for our crispy chicken sandwiches for dinner tonight. Here are my four chicken thighs already washed and you can see I've already cut the bigger chunks of the fat off. Now I'm just gonna season it with a bit of salt and pepper. A bit of salt. So I usually make my own buttermilk. You can buy it already made in the store. You can make your own buttermilk by adding a one cup of milk and then I add one tablespoon of lemon and I let that sit for a good 10-15 minutes and then it starts to get thick. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here. Also adding one egg. The next thing we're going to add is hot sauce. You can add whatever hot sauce you prefer. If you like Louisiana sauce, you can put that. Buffalo sauce. Today I'm going to be using the Buffalo Wild Wings medium sauce. I'm going to be adding some cayenne pepper, about a teaspoon, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, and lastly, some smoked paprika. I'll be at the gym for a good hour and a half, so this will be marinating for a good two hours. Just sealed it with some plastic wrap. Now we're going to add it into the fridge. Now for our crisp 
crispy. I smushed this right before I left. I just forgot to show you. But I have smashed cornflakes right here, and that is gonna be our breading for our chicken. These are the cornflakes I use. And then for our bread, we're using brioche because when I make crispy chicken, most of the time, when I do crispy chicken sandwiches, I use brioche bread. So we're gonna be using these. I'm just gonna season it with about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. Oh, and about a little, just a bit of salt. We are not going to be using flour. We're skipping the flour today. Here we have four of the chicken thighs nicely breaded. I already added some avocado oil in here. You guys look how delicious and crispy this chicken looks. This piece right here fell off but that's okay i also warmed up this sauce in the microwave and if you want it to be sweet you can also add a little bit of honey in there you can dip the whole chicken in the sauce i don't want to because if you do that then the chicken won't be as crispy my camera's battery just died, but I added this Kobe Jack cheese to Alan's sandwich and then some lettuce and the tater tots are ready. And that is the buffalo chicken sandwich. It came out so crispy and so good. I was going to add ranch, but I don't have any. So we just added a little bit of mayo and it still tastes really good. One out of ten. The 15, the crunch is amazing. 